Paige has proven to be one of the more popular female wrestlers of the last few years both in and outside of the ring. Her unique look is completely unlike any other woman in WWE, while her vast wrestling experience has allowed her to become a top contender despite being so young. With her in the news so much these days, here is Wrestling Origins, Paige. Soraya Jade Bevis was born on August 17, 1992 in Norwich, England. She was born to wrestlers Ricky Knight and Sweet Soraya into what can only be called a wrestling family. Soraya's mother was wrestling while unknowingly 7 months pregnant until she realized. Along with technically wrestling while in the womb, her father owned a wrestling promotion himself so Soraya was exposed to the industry from birth. She grew up with a love-hate relationship with wrestling. Of course, it was what her family loved and she enjoyed it too, but at the same time, she had seen the ugly sides after her mother went blind for 6 months after a botched dropkick to the eye. However, once she actually got in the ring, she knew exactly how she felt about it, but more on that later. Growing up, her favorite wrestlers were Stone Cold, Lita, and Rikishi, along with British wrestlers Klondike Kate and Johnny Saint, among others. When she was around 10, she began learning how to wrestle. She was trained by her parents and made her official wrestling debut at the age of just 13 in 2005. She competed under the ring name of Brittany Knight starting in 2006, and her first recorded match was alongside her mother in World Association of Wrestling, her father's promotion. She would continue on from there to compete in other English promotions and would win the WAWW Women's Tag Team Championship in June of 2007 with her partner Melody. At the age of 14, Soraya decided to expand her horizons by traveling across Europe to find wrestling opportunities. She would wrestle all over, including places like Scotland, Belgium, France, Turkey, Germany, Denmark, and even Norway. Keep in mind she did this all by herself at the age of 14. She would compete mainly as a singles competitor and would come close to multiple championships in 2008, as well as notably defeat her mother to win the HEW Women's Championship and later the WAWW British Championship. She continued racking up title wins in multiple promotions over the next year or two and would have some extremely long reigns, having had 4 reigns that lasted over 500 days. Suffice to say, Soraya had a lot of wrestling experience, which lent its hand to landing her a tryout for WWE in late 2010. For the tryout, Soraya tried to make herself look more like a diva as that's what she thought the company wanted, but it turned out she couldn't really pull off that look. Despite her wrestling ability, the 18 year old was turned down, though she was invited to return again the next year. After continuing to wrestle in Europe in 2011, Soraya returned for a second WWE tryout but this time didn't adjust her look. She kept her piercings in, rocked her heavy eyeshadow, and simply showed up as herself. This time, WWE took notice, and she wowed the scouts with her wrestling ability. Despite being just 19 years old, WWE came back very quickly with the news that she had made it. Soraya officially signed with WWE in September of 2011 and was sent to FCW, a developmental territory of WWE. She would debut under the ring name Soraya in January of 2012, but it was quickly changed to Paige before her first televised appearance. She would soon form an alliance with Sofia Cortez, and they called themselves the Anti-Diva Army, and made her in-ring televised debut alongside Cortez, but lost. After a few months, FCW was rebranded into NXT, and that's where Paige would really begin to shine. Around September of 2012, Paige really started to gather a lot of support from the fans, which accompanied her winning streak with wins against Emma, Oksana, Alicia Fox, and Sasha Banks. This streak would finally come to an end at the hands of Summer Rae in early 2013, whom she feuded with and eventually beat. After that, she would defeat Tamina Snuka, Alicia Fox, and Emma in a tournament to become the very first NXT Women's Champion in July of 2013. She would successfully defend her title for 274 days, defeating the likes of Summer Rae, Emma, and Natalia before being forced to vacate after being called up to the main roster full time. Just before that though, Paige made an appearance on the Raw after Wrestlemania in 2014, where she defeated the Divas Champion AJ Lee, winning the title and becoming the youngest ever Divas Champion at the age of 21. At this point, she held both the NXT and main roster championships, which is why she had to vacate one. She would defend this title against Brie Bella, Tamina Snuka, Alicia Fox, and Naomi before being quickly defeated by AJ Lee in June. 
This prompted Paige and AJ to seemingly become friends after they began working as a tag team. But Paige would quickly turn on her and win back the title at SummerSlam to make her a two-time champion, though would quickly lose it back to AJ once more. From there, Paige would turn face, team again with AJ at WrestleMania 31, fail on multiple occasions to capture the championship from Nikki Bella, and finally join NXT call-ups Charlotte and Becky Lynch to create Team PCB, one of three factions created during the women's revolution. The women's revolution would have Paige slightly cast aside in favor of the newer women on the roster, which led to her turning on Charlotte and Becky. This would set up title matches between Paige and Charlotte, but she failed to capture the belt on three different occasions. After taking some time off for an injury, Paige returned to TV in January of 2016, and from there would most notably take part in a 10 Diva Tag Team match at WrestleMania 32 and compete against Charlotte once again for the title, but lost. As part of the 2016 WWE Draft, Paige was drafted to Raw, but had to once again take time off due to injury. Before she could return, Paige was suspended by WWE for violating the company's wellness policy, which many thought to be drug related, but she claims it was nothing more than a procedural issue. During this time, she would reveal that she was taking more time off as she would need neck surgery, but was hit with another suspension a month later, which she claimed was due to drugs prescribed to her by her doctor. Since then, we haven't seen Paige return to WWE. Followers on social media know she's engaged to wrestler Alberto Del Rio and has talked about possibly leaving wrestling behind in favor of MMA, yet fans are still hoping Paige will one day return to a WWE ring. And that was Wrestling Origins Paige. If you enjoyed this video then maybe give it a thumbs up and subscribe for another episode of Wrestling Origins every Friday. Also, if I left out anything important then let me know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.